Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. If you've been in my live streams in the last couple of months, you've probably heard me continuously talk about getting a new network rack. Well, today's the day that we set up my new network rack. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon store and I'll put the link in the description below. So if you guys have previously seen, I have an 8U rack currently, but it is almost full. We only have one RU left and I could fill that with all of my lab gear. In the current rack, we have a StarTech PDU, we have some patch panels, we have a UDM Pro, USW switch, and a USW aggregation switch. So the rack I decided to buy was the StarTech 15U 19 inch wall mount rack. This is an open frame server room rack and it's $216.73 MSRP Canadian. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put this rack together, then we're gonna go down to the basement, take out all my gear out of the 8U rack, put this new rack up, then fill it with my gear and do cable management. Putting the rack together, I'm gonna to time lapse this, so I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to power off all this equipment, then we're going to take the cables out, then we'll take the gear out, the rack down, and put the new rack up. So on my UDM Pro, I'm just going to click the LCD screen and then we're going to power it down. Now it's powering down, we're going to unattach all of the cables. All right, all the cables are out. I'm gonna flip the power on the StarTech PDU and everything should shut off. Now I'm gonna start unracking all of this gear and then we'll put the new rack up. All right, the rack's now mounted onto the wall. I put some of the cage nuts in already as they're a pain. We need to get the patch panels in here and then all of our network gear. The way this is gonna be ordered, we're gonna put the PDU at the top and then we're gonna have a patch panel. Then we're gonna put our switch, another patch panel, our UDM Pro, our UNVR, and then our USW aggregation switch. And then I'll put a shelf down at the bottom to hold all my other gear, my NetGate SG1100 and my Protectly, as well as some of the Amata gear. Alright, now all of our gear is in our new rack, we need to start the cabling and I'm going to be using these 6 inch Monoprice Cat 6A slim cables. Um, I'll put a link in the description below, a lot of people seem to want these. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cabled and then we'll power everything up and we'll also cable management the cables that are back there. Alright, now 
now we got all the cables in place, let's power this on and I'll bring you in for a closer look and tell you what each piece of equipment is. So everything's powering up. At the top we have our StarTech PDU, below it we have a Keystone patch panel, and then we have our USW Pro 24 port switch, which has 8 ports that are PoE++ and 16 ports that are PoE+. Below that we have another 24 port keystone patch panel and then we have our UDM Pro. Under that we have our UNDR and then our USW aggregation switch. Um, I'm not really happy about how this big coil mess looks right now. I have ordered the right size DAC cables from Ubiquiti about two months ago and they still haven't arrived. Below that we have a USW24 non-POE switch which will be used as our lab. And then on the shelf, we have two protect leads. So the one on the left hand side, that will be used with OpenSense. The one on the right hand side will be used for XCPNG. And then we have a couple USGs. And here's the rack after it's completed. I'm pretty happy with how this rack installation went. The only thing that bugs me right now is the pile of cables on the right hand side. I'm hoping I get the right size DAC cable shortly. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.